Apple has just announced its Apple intelligence features and I got really excited to use Siri for the first time productively. A much better interaction between apps like calendar, mail and also their custom emojis. M maybe not the custom emojis. But I got really excited about all the new features. With all that excitement, Apple immediately stated that they probably won't launch those features in Europe. Why they will maybe leave out one of the biggest markets in the world and what that could mean for all future products and AI development is what I want to understand in this video and share with you. The US innovates, China replicates and the EU regulates. I don't know about China in this context, but I anyway want to talk about US and the EU here. And we're hitting already the core of this problem. US companies like Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon are innovating like crazy and the EU is mostly regulating it. The European Commission decided that all this AI development is too fast and too unregulated and they created the DMA, the Digital Markets Act, to regulate exactly such things. Before I want to go into the details of the DMA and what exact problem Apple has with it, I quickly want to talk about a fact that always shocks me when I look at it. I recently looked at the top 50 tech companies in the world and of the top 50, 35 are in the US, 4 are in China and only 3 are in the EU. And the rest is spread between Japan, South Korea, Taiwan and UK. But I want to highlight something we feel in our everyday life that every digital product we're using comes either from the US or from China. Almost nothing comes from the EU, maybe excluding Spotify. But this is such a heavy bias towards the US that I'm always concerned about the future of European technology and how we can keep up with that or how we can incorporate that. And in my opinion, it's not only through regulations, which makes it even more strict and harder for European companies to develop software and to innovate fast. And I think this is one of the biggest problems in current tech innovation. The EU is incredibly slow and almost scared of change of new technologies. To understand Apple's problem, let's quickly talk about the DMA. And I also think it's important to know it because it affects all future AI development, especially if you're in Europe. The Digital Markets Act came into effect in March 2024 and is supposed to make the markets in the digital sector fairer and more contestable. And I read a paragraph in the website that stated that while the law only applies to the EU, it is expected to have a global impact because large AI companies are unlikely to want to forego access to the block. This is kind of funny in this context because now Apple is immediately challenging those laws and is maybe even avoiding the EU completely, which means that we will just not get access to all those AI features, which is most likely not what the regulators here planned. To understand what the DMA is about without going through 60 or more legal pages, the European Commission added those summaries on their website. Initially, the European Commission promises that the end users enjoy more choice. And one thing that is important to understand in the beginning is that this regulation is mainly targeted at so-called gatekeepers, Apple, Amazon, Google, that are controlling large platforms and are also controlling the products they're selling on them, like the Apple App Store or the Google Search, which states, for example, your rights as a consumer, which is one, the choice of digital services. You can install now preferred apps directly from the web or alternative app stores, which we already saw Apple's implementation of that, of site loading, which was not that great. The data ownership, you gain control over your first personal data, they promise. Seamless data portability, you have the right to transfer your data between the services. Streamlined access and unbiased search results. Then on the other side, the DMA also includes your rights as a business and it promises new opportunities in the European Union which are, for example, app distribution, and they talk about site loading or alternative app stores, which is what we just talked about, that smaller developers don't have to go maybe through the app store and pay a 30% cut to Apple all the time. Ensuring fair play through conflicts of interests where they would just outcompete you, the effective access to data, interoperability, fair ranking, and fair sales terms. And here we have the point which is Apple's biggest problems with their new Apple intelligence features and the DMA, the interoperability. It says, it promises businesses that they can develop and offer innovative services to users of designated operating systems, like iOS, Android, and Windows, and you will no longer be unfairly blocked. Gatekeepers must allow interoperability free of charge. And what I understand here is that if you offer a service like Apple Mail or Siri, and you collect data and you create profiles and you have a service where you as a user own your data, it must be possible that you can transfer this data to another service, for example, to Google and use them there as the free service without any cost. And this to me, as someone working in software engineering, sounds incredibly difficult. 
because now Apple needs to provide all the data to you and maybe change their whole infrastructure to allow people to download their data and in that making it less secure. Which, by the way, talking about security, the DMA already created a huge problem on encryption because it requires companies to offer this data through open and stable APIs where people can request the data and maybe transfer it to another system or use it in another system. And to anyone who worked in software engineering, that sounds incredibly difficult to make secure if you already have a service that uses end-to-end -end encryption. To then open up your data and allow other companies to integrate with your APIs sounds like a huge security risk to me and is overall very complicated in my opinion. And even though I think the people that created the DMA had good intentions, some of those points are extremely critical and I don't know if they achieve the effect they hoped that it will achieve. Because right now, this is the response of Apple. Apple said, no, we won't release this in the EU because of your regulations. Now, admittedly, those features are not released yet. And for now, Apple only stated that they might not release those features in the EU. And as someone already stated on Hacker News, it might only be a bluff that Apple is challenging those regulations already beforehand and trying to see where they can get exceptions and where they can work around this. But anyway, I found this so interesting that I wanted to make a short video about it. And I'm really curious, what do you think about this new DMA and this situation and what that could mean for the future of software development, especially related to AI tools, which are getting bigger and bigger. I'm really curious about your opinion. So leave them in the comments and we can have a discussion there. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.